Hey coaches. By the way, I'm Tom. You are? Mary. Hi guys. Hey Mary. Nice to meet you. We just met each other. We honestly didn't know each other's names before this. You guys love me because I keep it real. But we just uh, did this awesome super workout with 20,000 people and we just sitting across from each other. Obviously we both did the workout. We're sweating and having a great time. But she just told me that she's been coaching for eight months and she's in Success Club 10 every friggin' month. Does that include the first month that you started? First month, yep. So first month, eight months, so eight months so far, you're a Success Club 10 legend in the making. That's now, my goal. the obvious question is a new coach that comes into this, or even the coach that's been doing this for a while who hasn't made Success Club 10 yet, what is the difference between you and everyone else that you've noticed in your eight months who does not make Success Club 10? Give us a clue as to what you're doing. Um, like you're going to hear over and over and over and over, there is no secret sauce. The difference between making Success Club 10 and not making it is what you put in. This business is 100% what you make it. If you want to be successful, you will, period. You're going to invite more people. You're going to share you more. You're just going to be you to the fullest. That's it. Be you, share you, and be genuinely wanting to help people. Stop thinking about getting to Success Club. Stop thinking about hitting those numbers. What you need to think about is helping other people, and that's it. And it'll all come full circle after that. So lots of invitations and bringing yourself out and sharing your, your story with your vulnerabilities. What are you doing to constantly find more people? Um, well, I do a couple things. First of all, um, I'm constant. I have a public Facebook page, first of all. I took my privacy off so anybody can see me, friends of friends. Facebook like page. Um, I boost my like my like posts um, pretty frequently, probably a couple times a week. Um, I haven't been doing that so much now because after my first few months I've built a basis of fans and followers that I'm, I'm able to kind of branch out more and, and hit more people without boosting them. But um, I also connect in different groups. Go into Google, and, or not into Google, but in your Facebook Google search. And you can type in anything. Type in things that you love. If you're a mom, type in moms in my area. If you're um, into running, type in running. Type in direct sales and marketing groups. You'll find people that connect with things that you love. and. And, and don't just go in there and post sales ads. Go in there and genuinely talk to people, form relationships with people. This is a relationship building business, so that's what you gotta do. People are going to see the real you no matter what. They're gonna know if you are just there to sell something to them or if you're there to help them. And if they really trust that you're there to help them, you're gonna build those relationships. Like I said before, it just comes full circle. She's absolutely right. Eight months success club, 10, 66 months success club in a row. And I do the same kind of stuff. I might have different modalities, but she's absolutely right. You gotta be yourself, pull yourself out and use different various means of finding people. You do Google searches and you go into groups. Are you finding Facebook groups or Google platform? What platforms do you use? Mostly Facebook. I, I would say 90% of my everything is Facebook. Of course, I'm a full-time teacher as well. A mom, a wife. I'm, I'm doing this like now I'm sacrificing whatever I have to because I want to quit my full-time job. I want to be home with my daughter. I want to be a philanthropist and travel the world with my daughter and help people. And so I'm like, I got to do it. If I put in the hard work now, you know, I spend time going out, talking to people at work, my job now. Like I have people coming up to me asking me what I'm doing. I friend people that I don't really know, but they're friends of friends. And I connect with them if I see them posting things that that might build a, um, a conversation, that might be conversation starters. So don't be shy, share you. You're unique and amazing and everybody has something to learn from you. And when you start conversations with new people, friends of friends, you start based on a common interest? Yeah, sometimes, I, I mean, it depends on like, for example, if somebody posts on their page, you know, I'm tired of trying things that don't work or something, then I'll reach out to them and say, hey, have, you know, I noticed that post on your page, just wondering have you ever tried working out at home? Or if somebody posts something about their, their child, like potty training, and I'm potty training my daughter, I'll just connect with them. An invite doesn't have to be about beach body. It can be about your common interests. It can be about things that you have in common and friendships and relationships. That's what it's about. So when you see something, they post a buzzword like, I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired. You're not immediately going for the jugular, so to speak. You're just trying to make a connection. Yeah, that's what I do first. I first would say, you know, I've been there you know, because 
we all have been there. Like, it doesn't matter what size you are, what shape you are, it doesn't matter what your background is. We've all been in a place where we're not happy with ourselves. And so all of us can connect that way. And I'm just going to say a thousand times, it's about helping others. Let go of selling, let go of any of that. It's about helping others. And when you're genuinely out there, karma is real. And when you're genuinely out there to do good for others, they want to, they trust you and they want to follow you and then and they in turn want to pay, pay it forward. Last question, unless you say something else that invokes another question, I don't know. <laughs> and this might be a little tricky, but how do you know when the time is right to officially invite someone to take a look at our deal? When they ask me. And, the, and that, that might look like? You know, they... You know, it would, uh, gen generally it starts with someone saying, okay, so what are you doing? Or, okay, so what can you share with me? And then I tell them, I never, never give my link out. I never message people and say, here's my link, order from me. Not once in my life have I done it, in my eight months of my life. So someone says, okay, so what are you doing? What can you do for me? What um, are you doing? I say to them, before I can tell you what I'm doing, because I might be different than you, what are your goals? What do you struggle with? Is it your eating? Is it your working out? Is it your time? What is it that you need help with? And then once they respond to that, I can better share with them what I have. Generally, the 21 day fix is an awesome start for almost anyone because it combines your nutrition and your fitness and then the accountability of a challenge group. But we still, some people got the nutrition, some people don't want to use the little containers. So you really have to find out what do they need before you go deeper with them. Okay, I'm overweight, out of shape, I have no clue how to eat, I've tried stuff in the past that didn't work, I've never heard of Beachbody, what is a 21 fi day fix? Like if someone says something generic like that, because that's kind of a common thing, then where do you go from that? I would say, alright, so the 21 day fix is a simple, foolproof eating plan. Tells you exactly what to eat, but you don't have to eat crazy weird foods. You cook it at home, that's it. You're also going to get 30 days of superfood nutrition shake. That is insane. You're going to get better energy. You're going to feel better about yourself. Your bloat's going to be gone. If you have any digestive problems, gone. And then you're going to have the accountability and support of all of us that have similar goals to you. And you're going to have fitness that's only 30 minutes a day. That sounds 30 great. minutes. That's it. And I'm going to coach you through every part of it. I'm going to coach you for the rest of your life for free, if that's what you want. We're going to build a relationship. I'm going to help you out along the way. It's going to be awesome. So do you share a video with them at all, or do you just... Um, some of them, when they say... Uh, well, yes. Actually, most of the time, I say, here's a video clip. Check it out, and, and then we'll talk about what you think. And then most of the time, they're like... I'd say 90% of the time, people are like, that's awesome. What can I do? And then it comes down to talking about their finances. And some of them are, you know, I can't do the shake. I'll do you still let me in. I let them in, guys, because I was a, I was a challenger that wouldn't drink Shakeology in the beginning. I was a challenger that for two years told my coach I was allergic to Shakeology. Holy cow. Oh, yeah. Because I didn't want to pay for it. People Finally, when I, became a, when I became a coach, I bought a challenge pack and I said, all right, to my coach, I'm going to try it for five days. I, five days, you guys, it's legit. If you're one of those people who doesn't believe in it, it's it's really, now my husband drinks it, we go through two bags of one. Okay. okay, so we could go all day back and I forth know, over true. the what if. So here's a tip for you coaches out there that are confused. Just worry about uh, generating the peak interest and get in touch with your upline coach about what to do from there. Because from there, it's kind of an art. There's a system, the five-step process, you can base the whole thing around. But just keep the interest like, like she's doing and being a success of 10. And then work with your upline coach about what to do next. Oh my God, someone said yes. And we'll, we'll help you along the way. All right, so that's pretty good advice. Would you agree? Like yeah. for a new coach? All good right. luck, everyone. Right on. High five. Come out to Summit next year. Get here. This is where the training and the inspiration and the connections are proof positive right here. Totally worth it. Bye for now. Bye.